country, isn't it? Take a look over there. I found some deer tracks. Let's follow the trail and see if we can't find our first buck. I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. Step softly now. The less noise, the better. Try to move when the animal is moving. Hear that? That's our buck. Sounds like he's hidden in the brush up ahead. To remain invisible, use cover and keep out of the animal's sight line. Any kind of quick movement is a dead giveaway, so if your prey is looking in your direction, remain still. You can also reduce your visibility by crouching or laying prone. I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. Large, solid obstacles such as rocks conceal your presence from the animals. When behind them, you can move faster and remain undetected. Holding your breath will steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. Holding your breath will steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. That's a good start. Now let's talk about some more advanced hunting skills. Go ahead and open up your GPS map. The map will let you know what animals can be expected where. It shows all sorts of important stuff like terrain. The animal activity zones are also marked on your map, so you can quickly see where animals are usually feeding, watering, or bedding. Animals will move between these zones as the day progresses and their needs change. In addition, it marks the location of advantageous hunting locations, such as preset blinds and stands. It also indicates the direction the wind is blowing, as well as how the hunter's scent is carried by the wind. The map legend provides additional information to help you use the GPS map. Let's find a spot to observe a feeding plot. Close your map and head to the waypoint. Take out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. There's a blind just over there. But with the wind the way it is, there's no way to reach it without spooking the deer. Head along the tree line. Stay in cover until you're downwind of them. See that? You lost your smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook.
There's a stand just over there, but it'll be tricky reaching it without spooking the deer. Move slowly, keep low, and stay behind rocks. Use your optics to observe the animal's body language. Glassing allows you to estimate the animal's alert state and plan a successful approach. See that? You lost your smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook. There's a stand just over there, but it'll be tricky reaching it without spooking the deer. Move slowly, keep low, and stay behind rocks. Use your optics to observe the animal's body language. Glassing allows you to estimate the animal's alert state and plan a successful approach. Move into the stand. Pay close attention to bushes, as moving fast through them can make a lot of noise and spook the animal. Also, make sure you keep out of the animal's sight. Take the shot. Blood tracks will give you an idea which way the animal went. Head that way. found him. Now, claim your trophy. We play by the rules out here. You need to claim every trophy you shoot. We don't like to see wounded animals, so don't take a shot unless you're totally sure you can hit the target.